Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to A Day in the Life. Today, we're going to learn how to make spaghetti squash. That's right. If you've never had spaghetti squash, it's actually quite tasty. Um, what you do is you bake the spaghetti squash, and after you're done baking it, you take out the insides with a fork by scraping, and it turns into a spaghetti-like consistency. Let's go ahead and take a look at the steps on how to make spaghetti squash. The first thing you do is you take the spaghetti squash and wash it. And then you take it and you cut it in half into two equal halves as best you can. You're going to need a large knife to do this. Once you cut the squash in half, you'll notice it's full of seeds. You want to go ahead and scrape those out with a spoon until it's nice and clean. And do that on both halves. This is how our first half looks when it's cleaned out. Both halves should look like this. Place them on a cookie sheet with some tin foil on the bottom, face up so you have the cavity in front of you. Then we're going to add just three ingredients. The three ingredients we're going to be using are pepper, olive oil, and salt. The first thing you do is you pepper the inside of the squashes and then you add some oil and then salt. What this does is it seasons it so when you bake it, it will be very, very flavorful. This is what the squashes should look like when they're prepped before you flip them over to put them in the oven. Flip them over? Yep, you have to flip them over so they look like this. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees and then flip your squashes face down. Now what this will do is let the oil coat all the way down the squash and actually allows it to steam the squash in the oven because none of the heat can escape from inside that cavity. Place your cookie sheet with the squashes on them in the oven and bake at 325 for about 45 minutes. So once you're done baking the spaghetti squash, take it out of the oven Get a pot holder or maybe a dish towel and pick up one of the halves, hold it like this and take a fork and scrape out the this, this squash and it comes out and looking like, you know, spaghetti. It's really great. You can add some butter to it and serve it just like that. Now, some people also put spaghetti sauce on it. I mean, if they want to use it for a replacement for pasta, if you're not, you know, wanting the carbohydrates of pasta, spaghetti squash can be a great substitute. So go ahead, try making spaghetti squash. It's not very hard, and it's very, very tasty. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV and A Day in the Life. You have a good day.